Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. I was reluctant to divulge some of this information, as was Leonard French, out of respect to Alex Maurer's family. The hope was is that someone would be able to get through to her in regards to her actions and what she's been doing to all parties involved. Unfortunately, having any form of faith in the American physical and mental health systems would be about as effective as wishing that unicorns exist. In response to multiple death threats that Maurer had issued and her apparent degenerating mental stability, Maurer was placed on what is called a 302 hold, which, for those of you that are not aware, in Pennsylvania, a 302 hold is an involuntary mental health hold where the person in question is committed against their will. After an extensive evaluation, Maurer was released, citing that there was no furtherance of the threat. Earlier this afternoon, Maurer picked up where she left off, exhibiting a complete lack of understanding as to why this had happened to her, and instead of seeing the concern that people have exhibited, she has decided to cut ties with her family, seeming to think that they have, quote, sided with her opposition. She continued on to issue what she probably hoped was some form of ominous threat, stating, keep an eye out for the next big move, it should be coming soon. Less than half an hour later, Maurer again cc'd myself and numerous other content creators an email she sent to Turner Broadcasting in which she stated the following, It's been 12 days since I sent the cease and desist letter. You have not responded to the letter despite the request for immediacy. The Duck Games commercial counterclaim went through and the trailer went back online. However, it appears that the Adult Swim channel has manually removed the video. Maurer seems to fail to grasp the fact that Turner Broadcasting is most definitely not going to operate on her timeline if they've even noticed her existence at all. If they have, they aren't going to bother doing things on her terms. They will merely take some time, line up the appropriate paperwork, and then use her cease and desist notification as proverbial toilet paper. Maurer continues with, Am I to correctly understand that Turner is complying with the cease and desist letter I sent? I called you on the phone the other day and I couldn't hear you. I request that you either make a counterclaim on the Jazz Punk trailer or reply to the cease and desist letter, and you have done neither action. Please either formally respond to the cease and desist or make a counterclaim so I can assess what legal actions to take next. As you're aware, there is a pending copyright registration on the song Duck Killer in preparation for obtaining a court order. So, Maurer is attempting to push forward with her attempts to go after Turner Broadcasting in spite of the fact that any legal documentation she would require to do this is in fact pending. So, naturally, Turner Broadcasting's response, if in fact they somehow decide to provide one, will not be kind. Maurer is very much poking a sleeping giant in the form of Turner Broadcasting while at the same time facing litigation on the Imago Softworks front. In the meantime, I did receive a message from a person that had worked with Maurer for years that he has had further DMCA strikes issued on his channel, Sean Faze, as of 16 hours ago. So it seems that the Alex Maurer DMCA vendetta has picked up where it has left off and unfortunately, her actions could potentially continue unabated until a court of law finally determines the truth as to who owns the copyrights in question. Just so you were all aware, I did not plan on making this video tonight, given the general lack of meaningful information. However, there seem to be a great deal of concerned people that have been messaging me through social media. I understand the concern that this has raised, but I would ask that people not allow it to get the better of them. Alex Maurer is currently busy wringing her hands in sadistic glee over on Twitter because of her supposed mysterious what's coming next. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not concerned. I'm not worried in the slightest. Maurer has proven the worst she has done is issue some death threats, spread some fear and confusion, and issued a metric ton of DMCA strikes. But the DMCA strikes will clear. Even though YouTube's promise of help has not materialized as quickly as we would expect, the clock will run out on the counterclaims and they will be processed. Paperwork has been filed with the courts and the legal process is underway. Maurer thinks somehow that she will emerge victorious, but I personally do not see any realistic way of that happening. And then there will come the feeding frenzy of potential perjury charges by justifiably enraged YouTubers. I know a lot of smaller channels have been affected by her and will continue to be, and I would like to make sure everyone is aware that they're not alone in this, and there are avenues open to them to help combat these strikes. If anyone needs to reach out to me about their strikes, you may do so at my email or social media listed down in the description below. As I had feared, this fight has only just begun, but Maurer has played most of her cards, and they will all come for naught when it's all said and done. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.